So Procreate added some animation features in the software. It's kind of basic, you can just like export as a GIF and so on, but it's cool that they added it and I will just show you how to um, yeah, make an animation. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a small animation just like a bouncing ball from one side of the screen to the other side, like really basic and nothing special and add a new layer. And every layer will become like a new frame in your animation. So yeah, this is frame two. Now I will add frame three and so on. I'm gonna like make some squats and stretch cause yeah, this feels way uh, nicer. So my spacing will like increase my ball will get smaller and you know i will do this i'm doing this very fast um so yeah i know it's a bit sketchy but just like to try this out um let's let's make it really really simple okay just now the bottom part and i think something's underneath my screen because it's kind of moving sorry for this um and like this is where the ball touches the ground, like make it really flat um, and then it moves up again. Like again that stretchy thing, um, maybe it's too much, I don't know, we'll see in the end. Uh, let's add a new layer and continue. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know it's, it's a bad animation, but bear with me. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. And yeah, that's it. You know, it's it's really easy, I feel. I don't have the feeling you can like really go wild with this. Cause yeah, you only have one layer to 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 fit your animation. Like you can't do like um your lines first, then your cleanup, and then your coloring in three different layers, because yeah, this will show up off. Um, I mean, the animation won't play right. And um, yeah, but for like some basic things like this, like bouncing ball and so on, um, this, yeah, this will work. Okay, we're almost on the top now. Um, but I think I can do better. Yeah. And now put the ball tight to each other because you know you want it um, to slow down a little bit. And then uh, you want it to slow down a little bit and make it go faster again when it goes down. So now we're at the top, we're at the slowest point. And yeah, now it can go faster again. So a bit more spacing, like just touch the edges. <laughs> okay, maybe like make it even a circle. And all right, last frame. All right, and I think we're ready to export. Yeah, all right, yeah. I think, I think it's good enough. Okay, so if we go uh, to export, we can just like choose animated GIF and choose the frame rate. So now it's 10 and you can like increase it, decrease it. Um, yeah, the more um, frames you will add, the heavier it will get, uh, but it will move faster. So I think now 20-ish frames will be right. Let's see what it gives. Okay, um, let's check my photos. Yeah, not too shabby, I would say. So, conclusion, um, it's not bad at all. Uh, it's really, really basic. So I'm waiting for some extra features to come in, like um, have a real timeline, some onion skinning maybe, um, and so on. Um, but, you know, if you want to make a, a quick GIF or some nice effects, um, 
I think this is not a bad solution. Uh, it's super cheap for what you get. Um, so um, yeah, if I was you, I would just like download Procreate, test it out and see what you can do. Um, you basically have nothing to lose. Um, so that's it. Uh, see you next time. Ciao.